Okay, so this is another one of those. I just did a, a video of this. This one has silicon diodes. But as you can see, this is another one from the this is another one from the Spanky brand. So all these videos up here, these discussions and noodle arounds and all this. Okay, what do they share in common? Um, they have pretty extreme tone capacitor values that you might not think of. They all have these aftermarket P90s. Now I bought these from three different sources and so far, it kind of sounds like they're all from the same factory. They all look the same. They've got the two wire configuration. They're all lightweight and um, the guitars and now this is called Asian hardwood. Now, I don't know if that means it's a light base wood or what it means. I'm pretty sure it's not Polonia though. It's something else. It's um, it's definitely Polonia and Asian hardwood are two different things. You got your Phoenix wood, that's Polonia, and your Asian hardwood. Now the Viper that I was gonna put on, I still am gonna put on Reverb and let anybody brand it with whatever they want with my, you know, my stickers being in play. Those guitars are, they say uh, bass wood on the little blurb. These are Asian hardwood, the Davisons, and I believe that the Jamisons are as well. Now the Viper has a, a wider neck, like one of the Jamisons, but not both Jamisons, so go figure. They all have, uh, Davisons included, they have a little bit bigger like maybe more of this, the radius. I don't know. They're not uh, slim necks, but the Davisons are the most slender of the three brands I'm discussing here. Okay, real quick, that Viper, the wood grain one here behind me, um, I was having a hard time, if you see that video, keeping that in tune in conjunction with the vibrato bar or even string bends, so I have reason to believe that the tuners on these Davisons are better. I think they stay in tune better. Now I've got two more of the Vipers to test. They're both pink. I've got an extreme tone control. And I've got another one that's got a pretty strong resistor in the, in the line and it's very subtle. So. It looks like resistor value has a lot to do with how extreme the circuit is going to get as far as taking out the trebles. Which makes sense. It, I just didn't think about it until after the fact. I put a 47K in that one guitar and the, the effect was just barely there, which uh, some people might actually prefer. <laughs> Anyway, all these videos have been these sort of economy guitars made out of a light wood with the PV Bandit. I'm getting into the lead channel now. And that's it. No, there haven't been any pedals uh, or any of that.
Okay, so with the tone all the way up, there shouldn't be any interference from the resistor, capacitor, diodes. And I'd have to say that the red one has more sparkle. This is a, this one is more mid-ranged, low. They say that lightwood guitars are dark. And that red one is probably the exception from what I've seen. I kind of like the, the treble cut. Let's see if there's any sparkle on the clean. Okay, so I think that all of these guitars are in a certain ballpark with this with these pickups, whether neck or bridge. They're all uh, like I'd say five to seven k range. They're not super powerful. Maybe six to eight. If you're looking for a new sound, you don't want to go out, source out all the parts, do all the soldering. It's not a lot of soldering, but uh, if you just don't want to do, deal with any of that, but you want to try something new, I'll put these up on reverb. And 
I'll throw in, like I was saying on the um, on the video of the wood colored viper. I'll throw in a discussion. Uh, I'll put up a video. Uh, your choice of guitar related. Or music related even. Uh, topics. I'll put up a half hour video. If you buy one of these guitars on reverb. Because th here's the problem with me with you paying too much and me not getting paid at all it's kind of a conundrum is that the shipping is i'm finding the, finding the shipping just as a, an independent buyer and seller of things ebay and amazon and reverb and all that i find that the shipping is really high i have sold $200 items where I paid 80 bucks on shipping. Uh, I think the worst might have been like a $150 item that I paid 75 bucks on shipping. So I have to keep my prices high just to make up for the amount of shipping that I'm paying. But, so you would save money doing it yourself but on the other hand there might be those of you out there that don't have time to make the mods but you do have money and you don't mind throwing like 150 200 bucks my way to get one of these guitars pre pre-configured so to try to close that gap between you paying too much and me not getting paid at all that's the idea of the video. I've said it before, I know my chops are not Paul Gilbert-esque or anything like that. But I know the notes on the fretboard and I have a classical training. And I've listened to a lot of artists and even when uh, I can't play like somebody else, I know what they're doing pretty much. So I feel like I could introduce some knowledge as far as putting together videos on topics that you specify when you make a purchase of one of these guitars. Anyhow, and with those of you with chops but little uh, don't have as much theory, I could maybe give you a speed course on some things you could do that I don't I haven't heard anybody else do yet. Well, that might be a little bit, you know. That's a pretty strong statement, but anyway, I've got a lot of knowledge oh, without as many, you know, extreme chops. And so I can describe stuff to you. What do they say? Those who can do and those who can't teach. I can, I can describe some things to you. Uh, guitar and music related. And it could even be like, hey, tell me what you think of uh, this player or this band. Tell me what you think of these five bands. Whatever, anything music and guitar related, I'll talk about it for a half hour. So that's what I'll throw in as part of the deal. So I've talked enough about these guitars that I'm trying to sell. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll tell you what, I love these guitars. And I'm going to be playing this kind of guitar, I think, a lot. <laughs> the tuning pegs that aren't terribly strong okay 